The Elden Ring is not so much a ring you wear, it's a collection of powerful runes. Each rune represents different aspects of life, death, space and time, and when you put all of these runes together, they form the Elden Ring, which gives control and immense power over the entire world of the Lands Between, the world in which the Elden Ring game is set. The Elden Ring was created by an outer god called the Greater Will to control the Lands Between, However, the Greater Will is not the only Outer God in the Elden Ring universe. There is the Frenzied Flame God, the Dark Moon God, God of Rot, the Formless Mother, and the Death God related to Death Birds, but there's also potential other gods, such as the Destined Death God, Giant's God, and Dragon God. Each of these gods has their own idea and wills to exert, and it seems like each of the Outer Gods wants to control the lands between but it's the Greater Will Outer God who in the game has control and he uses the Elden Ring to exert his power and take control of the world. But it didn't go according to plan as we see later in the video, but here is how the Greater Will gained that control. It's said that long ago the Greater Will sent a golden star bearing a beast into the lands between, which would later become the Elden Ring. It was the vassal beast of the Greater Will and a living incarnation of the concept of order. The Elden Beast, the living carnation of the Greater Will, in the Lands Between, over a long period of time, created the Elden Ring, the Earth Tree, which is used to reborn souls of the dead, and the Golden Order, a way of living that adheres to the way of the Greater Will demands. But one of the major hurdles in the Greater Will's plan is that in order to exert the power of the Elden Ring, it must be contained within a vessel. This vessel would itself become a god. Three things were needed, however, to become a vessel. First, you must be an Empyrean. Empyreans are a race of beings that have been born from only one god. Two, you must have a protector called a shadow. And three, you must have a consort. The consort of the vessel would become the Elden Lord. Queen Marika is chosen and becomes the first vessel for the Elden Ring. She was an Empyrean. She had a shadow protector who is Malekith the Blackblade and she chose a consort when she wed Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, who took up the title of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. This is where the timeline of events begins with Marika as the Elden Ring's vessel. She starts to gain control of the lands between with her power, with Godfrey at her side upholding the ways of the Golden Order. They plan to start a new age in the lands between, forcing out the already existing inhabitants like the humans, the Nox, and the giants, for example. But here is a brief timeline of events leading up to the start of the game. Marika and Godfrey have three children, Godwin the Golden, Margot the Omen King, and Moog, Lord of Blood. Marika goes to war to fight over control of the lands between against Queen Ronala of the Full Moon and the giants. And there is also other people to deal with like the Nox and dragons. To deal with these threats more easily, Marika split a part of herself off, a part of the Elden Ring, and formed another physical entity from it called Radagon. The rune she cast off to create Radagon was the Rune of Order. Radagon was tasked with fighting Runala, but at some point it all changed and they fell in love. Whether for a real reason or to easier unite the Earth Tree and the Full Moon, but either way Radagon and Runala had three children together, Rodan the Star Scourge, Rikard the Blasphemous, and Lunar Princess Rani. Sometime after this, Godfrey and the children of both Marika and Renala went to war with the giants. Godfrey faced off against the Storm Lord of the Giants alone and was victorious. The Fire Giant was set as the last of his kind to guard the Smoldering Forge for eternity, the forge which was one of the only things that could destroy the Earth Tree. And after his last worthy opponent fell, Godfrey began losing the golden hue from his eyes and his purpose as Elden Lord was now fulfilled. Marika exiled him from the Lands Between and he became the first Tarnished. Shortly after the departure of Godfrey, Radagon left Queen Renala to join Marika at the capital, becoming her consort and the second Elden Lord. Marika and Radagon had three children together as well. Melania, the Unserved, Mikola, the Unallied, and Melina, our maiden we meet at the game's beginning. Marika raised Radagon's children with Renala to demigod status and treated them as her own. Around this time, the Elden Beast created something new, the Two Fingers. They would be granted to Melania, Mikola, and Rani. They were the candidates to succeed Queen Marika as the god of the coming age. However, Rani had other plans than to gracefully accept the Two Fingers. 
She stole a fragment of the Rune of Death, guarded by Malekith at the crumbling Faramazula, and Rani used this fragment to forge god-slaying black knives. She then provided those knives to assassins. During the Night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden and the Lunar Princess Rani were both killed. Marika, then becoming disillusioned by the Greater Will's plans for many reasons, had had enough and she decided to shatter the Elden Ring. Marika was imprisoned within the Erd Tree for this, along with Radagon and the remains of the Elden Ring. The shattered fragments of the Elden Ring were claimed by Marika's offspring, the Demigods. The taint of their newfound strength triggered a war for power in which no lord arose, but did result in the Greater Will's power becoming very diminished as the Elden Ring was still in pieces. During the War of the Shattering, lots of major events happened. Rodan stopped the movement of the stars with his gravity powers. Rikard committed blasphemy and fed himself to a snake. Melania fought Radan to a standstill, spreading rot all over Caelid. Mikola went off to create the Halig Tree, a version of the Erd Tree without the influence of the Greater Will. Moog kidnapped Mikola. Godric and Margaret weren't up to much, but Rani was plotting to undo Verdan's star freeze so she could summon more outer gods. With Marika's children in deadlock and Marika herself holding the Elden Ring hostage, it was at this point the Elden Beast put forth the call to tarnish warriors and set to the Two Fingers their new purpose, guiding the tarnished, killing Marika's children and restoring the Golden Order. It's also at this point where the final seemingly unknown child of Marika is sent out to find the Tarnished that will one day rise to become Elden Lord, and this is where your story begins. So that is a brief history and timeline of the Greater Will, his plan to control the lands between, using the Elden Ring, and a whole lot of demigod family drama. But there is obviously a lot more in-depth detail on all of these aspects of the timeline, and there's still plenty of things I didn't mention, like life before the Earth Tree was there, and the Three Fingers, details on the Outer Gods, but there is a huge amount of lore for the game, and if you guys enjoyed this video, I will make more going forward, delving into it from the beginning. And there's tons of different videos I could go over, starting with the Outer Gods and going through the entire timeline in order, and going into more depth on different things, including all of the demigods, all of the different races, all of the different factions, things like the Carrion Royal Family, Academy of Raya Lucaria, and covering things that are secret like who is Saint Trinia, and also going over some of the game's cut content, which will help you better understand some of the lore as it joins a lot of the pieces together. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more lore videos. Also let me in the comments below know if there are any mistakes in this video. I tried my hardest not to make any mistakes, but this is my first lore video I've ever made and, and hopefully there are no issues as I want this video to be a good reference point for future videos and how all of the lore fits into the timeline of events. So let me know more on that. Okay guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.